Right, no laughing. No laughing? No laughing. Oh, come on. Throw your face? Yeah. Good to go. Necrons, do it. Today, I'm here with Nick from Old Average Brit Gaming. We're going to play a game of Necrons versus Imperial Knights. And today, I'm going to play the Necron Super Heavy Construct. It's coming right up. Necrons! Nick speaking and welcome to this video and if you're new to the channel and you want to keep up to date with the wonders of Warhammer 40k then please subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss an upload and remember Nick uploads on a Monday, a Thursday and a Saturday which is less frequent than Craig David Every week <laughs> Okay, so today I'm here with Nick from Old Average Brit Gaming and we're going to have a special battle report, especially for you on New Year's Eve, to wish you a happy 2019. Today we're going to see the Necron Seraptic Super Heavy Construct out on the table. Hello Nick. Hello Nick, how you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Good, I'm good. really looking forward to this game. So this time you've brought your oh. Imperial Knights. So we've played Knights before. We have. Uh, knowing that you're playing the Seraptic, I yep. brought my Serastus Knight or Lancer as an equivalent Forge World versus Forge World kind of bit of fun. Yeah. So my list vaguely similar to before, but I've swapped that one unit out just just we've got a little bit of balance going on. Yes, indeed. And you see my list? I have seen your list. What do you think of my list? <sighs> What do I think of your list? I think my knights are probably going to get toasted, um, especially knowing how you deploy your army these days. Yes. I think you've learned a few tricks. Yeah. So uh, yeah, knight army, and knowing what you now play like, I think this could be an interesting game. Okay, so let's find out. Let's have a look at the armies and see what happens. Okay, so here we go. Here is my Seraptic Surge Crons. I've got a Sotek Outrider Detachment. Heading up the force is a Cryptic with a Cloak. He also has the Veil of Darkness and the Warlord trait Hypological Strategist. I then have a squad of Tesla Immortals, eight Immortals in the troop selection. Elites, I've got a Triarch Stalker with a Twin Heavy Gauze Cannon. Then I've got two squads of maxed out destroyers, six in each, and a squad of nine scarab swarms, all in the fast attack slot. And then in the heavy support slot we have two doomsday arcs, and of course the super heavy auxiliary detachment, a Necron Seraptic Heavy Construct. Necrons! That brings me in at 1992 points with four CPs. Right, let's have a look at the Imperial Knights. Okay, so this is my modified knight list from last time we once played. So uh, I'm running two super heavy detachments. Uh, so I'm running for six command points here. So leading the foray is the Serastus Knight Lancer with a shock lance and his warlord trait of Landstrider. And then with him are two Knight Errants, which are the guys with the thermal cannons on the middle here and just down here. That is one super heavy detachment. The second one is two Armager Warglaives, which are the two little guys. So they have the thermal spears and the, the smaller choppy swords. And then a Knight Gallant, which is this guy down here, my old Inquisitor converted one. So he's got lots of Inquisitor iconography on him. This guy is running the fancy relic though. He has the Paragon Gauntlet, which means uh, his little gauntlet down here is a little bit more powerful. And then that sword is actually just another um, another Reaper Chainsword. So uh, that is my list. It comes in at 1950 points. Um, there are a couple of proxies in here just to burn some points up since the points changes. So instead of the heavy stubbers, uh, there are melted guns now. So that is about the only changes. Other than that, what you see is what you get. 106 power level, 1950 points. Okay, excellent. Right, let's work out what mission we're playing and get started. Okay, so here we go, we have deployed, we have the Necrons on one side. Uh, Nick, why have you deployed the Triarch Stalker on the top level of a building when you know it's a vehicle and doesn't have the fly special rule? Oh well, let's get on with the game. And the Imperial Knights on the other, we are playing the Scouring Dawn of War deployment. The objectives have been randomly selected and we ended up having this objective here worth three points. Four points. Four points. Four points. Even better. 
four points on this one. However, this one over here is only one point, and the rest of them, which is one under the bridge, one down that end in the middle, one down this end in the middle, one underneath this knight here, they're all worth two points each. So we have deployed, the Necrons did deploy last. They did. So Nick is going to get plus one to the dice roll. So let's get some dice and see who's gonna go first. Okay, so the roll rough is here. Let's do it. I got a one. Oh. I got five. Okay, I'm gonna to attempt to seize the initiative. Okay, so seize the initiative. <coughs> Come on, we need a Necron six. Come on, it's got to happen. The star gods are down. Looking down on us. Come on. Six! Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Nick, how, how are you feeling right now? I'm, I'm feeling all right, actually. <laughs> okay, here we go then. So it's going to be the Imperial Knights, turn one. Okay, so the Knights have finished moving. Everything's moved forward except for this guy just at the back here. Well, this guy here advanced, moved, managed to move 22 inches. Oh, he's a 14 inch base move and then he advances 2d6. 2d6, how about that? Okay, so we're in the shooting phase. Yep. Yep, so we're going to do some shooting. So I'm going to kick off with the thermal cannon from this knight shooting at the big bad boy himself. Okay, or the, the scarabs? No, no, no. no? The no. big bad boy, not the baby <laughs> boys. So he has D6 shots from his thermal cannon, and I'm going to get four shots. Four shots. And from four shots, hitting on threes, uh, I have three hits. I'm strength nine. Okay, toughness eight. Toughness eight, three to wound. Two go through. And now AP minus four. Okay, so it'll be a five plus and vulnerable save. I get one, one goes through. So one goes through at D6 damage, it's a two. I'm gonna command point that. Command point it. You know you're gonna roll a one now, don't you? Yeah, absolutely, but if you command point immediately, you always roll higher. See? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, three damage. Three damage. There's 25 wounds left on the Seraptic. Is that all? We'll do the same then with the second guy. So exactly the same shots from this guy's thermal cannon going that way as well. Okay. D6 shots. He has three shots. Uh, two have hit. Three's the wound. We have two go through again, so you're okay. back to your invulnerable save. Yep. Save one. Save one, so we're back to d6 damage again. And it's another three, I'll okay. take three again. So, six damage so far. Six damage. This armager then is going to shoot at that doomsday arc up on the uh, up on the building, yep. carrying away. Okay. So he has a thermal spear, range thirty. So we're in range. He has assault D three shots. One shot. One shot. And he does hit them. Yeah, he does. He is strength eight, toughness. Toughness six. So three is the wound. He does wound. AP minus four again. Okay, minus four. So no save. No save. D six damage. It's a, I'm, I'm rolling three. It's it's three, damage. so I've got my quantum shielding. Quantum shielding. So I need to roll a two, one or two to ignore it. I rolled a, a four, so it goes through. So it goes through? Yeah, so three, three damage. damage. Right, because I'm concerned about quantum shielding now, I'm actually going to fire the thermal spear of this one back into the Seraptic. Okay. So D3 shots. He has two shots. They have hit once. And it does wound, again AP minus four, so I guess you're on your invulnerable. Yep. No, a one. No. D6 damage. It's a three. three. Of course it's a three. Every single <laughs> D6 is a three. Yep, so the only other gun that I've got in range is the twin Icarus weapon. This is stuff that um, flies. So you've got stuff that flies, right? Your destroyers have the fly. Destroyers have the fly special rule, indeed. Do. So add one to hit rolls made against targets that can fly. So. We'll pick on the nearest unit of destroyers then, which I guess is that one, that one. in the middle there. Yep, yeah, that's it. So I'm going to be hitting on twos with these heavy four shots. Um, so three hits, strength seven, so three's the wound. Yep, toughness five. Three wounds, AP minus one. Minus one, okay, so I'm going to go for the cover save. So it's a three plus, two wounds. Two damage each. Two damage each, one dead. 
and Ooh. that's it, yeah. That's it, yeah. One dead. So with a full tilt ability, straight into the scarabs, let's get straight into the combat here. Let's not mess around. Let's not mince around oh, with these runs. Scaring the Seraptic, scaring the Seraptic. Well he's already badly wounded, isn't he? So, yeah. I mean, once these scarabs are gone, he's gonna be uh, vulnerable. Yeah. Even though he's quite tasty in combat. So <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll see where we get to after the combat phase. Okay, here we go then. So how many attacks does this so, big bad boy get? Lance, it comes with four base attacks, but I'm going to use Titanic Feet, I think is probably applicable. Well, he really. does have Titanic Feet, doesn't he? So. Well, they, all knights have Titanic Feet. Um, or, or do I use his normal ones? No, let's go with Titanic Feet, which means I get three attacks for every single one. So I get three, six, I get more dice. That's what I need. The dice bucket. Well, attacks. So I am on a weapon skill of 3 plus, so I'm hitting the scarabs on 3s, which is 9 of those. I'm definitely winning on 2s, that's tough as yeah, 3, right? Yeah, tough as 3. So 8, 2, 4, 6, 8. AP minus 2. Okay, yeah, no saves. No save, each one is D3 damage. Okay, okay. So the first one is 1 damage. Yep. Two damage, that's one, one base. Yep. Two bases. Mm -hmm. 2.1 bases. <laughs> <laughs> 2 point two bases. That's gonna be a third base. Third base, yep. So it's quite a squad of nine here. Fourth base. And that's out of the pot. So four bases in total and a wound rolled over onto another one. Okay. Okay, so the scarabs attacking back on this massive knight. So we're going to need fours. Okay, so that was 14 fours. Now we need a five. So most auto fire, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, strength three. What toughness are you? Eight. Eight. Okay, we need fives. We have one, two, three. Three fives. Three fives. Well, I'll, I'll take three fives out of all of that. That's not bad, is it? <laughs> uh, no APs or anything, is there? No. Just a uh, straight yeah. armor save of three plus. Uh, take a wound. A wound, okay. And that sums up the Imperial Knights turn one. Okay, so the Seraptic will get one wound back from Living Metal and the Doomsday Arc will also. And we're going to move in. Oh, so we've got an RP to do uh. for the Destroyer. And on a four plus, he's not up because there's no cryptic, there's no cryptic in range. There? there is a cryptic in range. Is there? Yeah, under there. He shot the one with the cryptic next to it. Oh. Okay, so he's back up. Excellent. Right, let's move on then to the Necrons turn one. Okay, so Necron turn one, not much movement. Necron! The scarabs just fell back from the assault. And, and these guys just moved away from this advancing blob of knights. Ooh. And we are in the shooting phase. So, first of all, I'm going to shoot the Triarch Stalker into this big guy here. So, let's see what we can do. We need threes. We get both, but it's out. Strength nine. Toughness eight. Yep. Threes. To both miss. Both. See? They both miss, it's that's okay. A coward, just hiding behind the destroyer, okay. destroyer blob. The stalker isn't there to kill anything. He's just there to help everything else. Does he not need to, does he just need to hit to uh, help everyone else? He just needs to target. Ah, okay. Yeah. So, that's that done. So, let's shoot some doomsday arcs. First of all, this one at this knight. Right, here we go. So, we get D6 amount of shots. One. One. Get two. Shall we command point that? You don't have many command points. I'd I've only got four command points. I'd save them for something important. Yeah, I don't. I don't need that. Okay, we're gonna have two shots. We'll take that. So we need threes, both out. Strength ten. Yep. Toughness eight. Threes. Toughness eight. Threes. Yep. Yeah. Both in. Both in. Okay. So so five plus invulnerable save for the Iron Shield Gauntlet. Okay. No, and fail both of those. 2d6 damage, is that? Yep, 2d6 damage. Okay, so here we go. Snake eyes. Ooh, Ooh 10. 10. Ouch. Okay, so now the Gauls flayers at this guy. So we've got 10 shots, we need threes. And strength four. So we need sixes. sixes. 
We've got one six there. That's going to be minus one AP. Oh, oh. It's the box. It's got to be in the box, right? Yeah. There we go. Yes, well done. Okay, second Doomsday Arc. We've got D6 amount of shots. Five. Not bad. Okay, so we need threes. Rerolling the ones from the Stalker, but we don't need it. And we need strength ten. Threes. Okay, so that's four more saves at minus five AP. Four. I've made one. Okay. Three D six, and I'm on sixteen wounds left. So you could kill it with this round. So we'll come on point one of those. Okay. There we Makes go. it so. so. You, get, you, get, you get two. Three. Two. We get a four and a one. Um, hmm. Five damage. Five. Damage. Shall I command point it? What do you think? Well, if you procrastinate, I re you know, you'll roll another one. Well, right, like, let's try that then. Works. I'm going to use a command point you then. You're going to use a command point? A five. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okie dokie. Is that nine? That is nine damage. Okay, going to try and get that CP back. A six, I do get it back. Okay, so now the small guns from that to Doomsday Arc. We need threes. Rerolling the ones. I'm not sure if I did that on the last one, but there you go. Still miss. And sixes. Got two sixes this time. And one gets through. One wound. Okay, so next we're going to have a pop shot with the Staff of Light from the Cryptech. So we need threes. We totally miss, but because of the Triarch Stalker, we get to reroll the ones. And we miss. Okay, he needs uh, he needs some target practice. Right, next up, we're going to shoot the Immortals at this guy. Okay, so we've got eight Immortals, two shots each. We need threes. Looking for some sixes. We've got one six, so we get two extra hits. Okay, and now we need fives to wound. So we've got one, two, two wounds. No AP on that. Two reads with no AP. Uh, still take another bit of damage there. Okay. This is, this is turning out bad. Another wound done right. Mm -hmm. What am I going to shoot next? Okay, so next, this squad of destroyers at this big guy. What's it called again? A Serastus Knight Lancer. Serastus Knight Lancer. Okay, I'll never remember that. Right, here we go. So we need threes. Re rolling the ones. Okay, so the ones and twos miss. No, my will be done. Okay, so strength six this time, so it's going to be fives. Yep. And we have scored one, two, three, four, five, fives. So minus three minus AP. Three AP. Five. Five. This could kill it. Could do. This could kill it. Oh, oh! I make all my invulnerable saves. What a great roll. Okay, so I'm going to do the same with the other squad of destroyers. That's the best invulnerable saves I've that ever is, seen. That is very good. Five up invulnerable saves, four sixes <laughs> and a five. Okay, so the second squad is going to shoot at this guy, and this time I'm going to use extermination protocols, so re rolling everything. So, first of all, we need threes, re rolling the misses. Two that miss. Okay, and now we need fives. Rerolling the misses. Okay, and the rerolls. Looking for some fives. We've got two more, so not too bad. Okay, there you go. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten. So ten. Will I make five wins. last time? Will I make? Will I make ten five <laughs> If you I'm do, not, it I'm will be a good roll. Game. Got a funny feeling he's gonna die. Five ups. That's not bad roll. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Have I done a command point reroll this time? You have, yes. I have. Yeah. So that's it. That's him gone. Five wounds left. Yeah. D three damage each. On a. S yeah, he needs. To yeah, he yeah. Needs that. yeah. So uh, on a six, he will explode though. Okay. Well, hopefully he doesn't, because I imagine he'll be nasty when he explodes. Uh, he's. A little bit more nasty than some of the others, yeah. I want him to explode. Of course you do. Obviously. Or no, four. No, he's not. Four. 
Okay, so that's everything shot except for the Seraptic. So let's do that next. Okay, so I think I'm gonna shoot this Knight Gallant because he has what looks like a very nasty sword. <sighs> that's the only reason. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna shoot. So we get six D3 amount of hits. So what do we get? 11 hits. I haven't rotated shots. King Iron Shields for a command point. Okay. Rotating the command, sh that gives you a four plus in one, yeah? improves my invulnerable save by one to three plus. Okay. Okay, so we've got 11 shots. We need threes. Not really rolling the ones because the stalker shot at a different target. So, that many hits. Strength eight versus toughness eight, so force wound. Okay, so force to a wound. And we've got one, two, three, four. Four wounds. Four wounds and the singularity generators, are they? Yeah, and a minus uh, three. Minus three AP, so you're going to go straight to my four plus invulnerable save. Okay. And I fail two of them. Two, okay, and these do D6, D6 damage each. We've got five, six, seven. Seven. Seven damage. And that is the end of the Necrons, turn one. Okay, an interesting turn. So, we're going to move in now to the Imperial Knights, turn two. Okay, so Imperial Knights, turn two. We've got some movement. This guy advancing two inches, getting him to close quarters with the Seraptic. No scarabs in front of him this time. And these two armagers have moved up here as well. Pretty quick movement on those guys. They've got their 14-inch move, which is quite, quite cool, I think. Yeah. And this guy, once again, I'm going to full tilt this guy um, so that he can advance and then charge. Okay, right. So that is the, that's the plan. This guy is going to sit back on this objective, so yep. I've got some points at the end of the game. Yep. Um, but that's the one worth four points. And, it is uh, indeed. As I can't assault these uh, pesky uh, arcs that are set up on these uh, rooftops, um, I'm going to have to try and shoot them and watch you thermal th <laughs> shield, <laughs> quantum shield everything, um, whilst I'll try and destroy everything else without being killed. So. That's the, uh, the general aim of the game, so that's what we're going to try. Now we'll have this guy's thermal cannon shoot the destroyers, I think, okay. over there first. Thermal cannon on the destroyer units yep. first up. So that one over there, so yep. D6 shots. Two. Two is pretty lousy. Two shots. Only one hit, but it does wound. Yep. Uh, minus four. Minus four, so I get six plus save. I'm in cover here. Nope. D3 dam uh, D6 damage. D6 so it's not damage. In the pot. Get it in the pot. Yep, one knocks, dead. Knocks one back down again. The same one he knocked down on turn one. <laughs> I think we're going to chance our. Oh, are we going to chance our arm? No, we're going to fire this guy's thermal spear into those. That same destroyer squad. Destroyer squad, yep. Yeah. So D3 shots for him. Two shots. Hits twice. Wounds twice. Wounds uh, 80 tw minus three, uh, four again. Minus four, so it'd be a six plus from the cover save. We don't get any. Don't get any, and these are D6 damage each. So the first one knocks one down, yep. and the second one knocks That's, another one okay, down. Okay, two more destroyers. Two, two destroyers down. Down. And we'll do the same from the other hell, uh, war guys as well. He's going to fire a okay. thermal spear over those destroyers. Focus as well. fire technique, eh? Well, you've got three left. If I do get three shots out yep. and three wounds, I mean, it's. Got to be yeah, worth it. My bets. So we'll see what we get. So D3 shots. Oh, it's only the two though. Uh, they both hit. Yep. And Ooh. they fail to wound miserably. Uh, I've got two melter guns in there though. So the two melter guns will fire at that guy up there while we're, while we're here. So the two okay. melter guns from both of those both hit. Uh, they both wound. Uh, AP minus four on that guy. No, no save. save. Yep. You're going to be relying on quantum shielding. So D6 damage each. Ooh. So one's definitely in. Yep, so I need so a one or a two to stop the other one. A two to stop the other one. A six. So okay. four damage. Four damage, right, we can take that. That puts us down to eight wounds. We'll have this guy then, he will fire his uh, thermal cannon at the Seraptic. Okay, Seraptic, big boy. D6 shots. Oh, come Ooh. on, where's the big numbers the here? Two. No, no big numbers, two shots. Both have hit, both have wounded. AP minus four. Minus five four. Up in saves once Indeed. again. Indeed. Five up in Von. Uh, we don't get any damage. D6 each. 2d6 damage. Five, five damage. 
Okay, we're down to 15 wounds on the Seraptic. We've got some more guns coming in. So we'll have his Melter Gun at the Seraptic and the Icarus Cannon at the three destroyers that are left. So okay. we'll go with the Icarus Cannon first. Hits on twos because they are fly keyword. And three is to wound. Three wounds at minus one. Minus one, and we are still in cover there, so be threes. Get one, one goes through. Two damage. Two damage, okay. And the melting gun at the Seraptic hits, and it will, yeah, your toughness eight, right? Toughness eight, yes. Fourth wound, and fails to wound. Okay. So all the shooting. That, I think, is all my, all my guns done. Okay, let's have a look at the assault. So we're going to charge both of these guys, or we'll attempt to charge them into this squad of warrior, uh, destroyers. So we're going to start with this guy, who needs a 7 inch charge. Okay. Shall I do my overwatch? Oh, you can do overwatch, yeah, of course you can. Yeah. Yeah. Over I failed my charge though. Oh look, I failed the charge, and I get, so I get to shoot you for free basically. You do get to shoot me for free with all of your guns. Yeah. Okay, let's get some dice. Okay, so we need sixes. We do however get to re-roll the ones. Make some space. Okay, another six, a handy. So we've got four sixes. Okay, strength six, toughness seven, so we need fives. We get one through, so that's minus three. Minus three puts me on a six plus save for this guy. And it fails. Okay. What, D3 damage? D3 three damage. Oh, three oh, damage. Come on. But you know what, I'm generous, I'm going to let you overwatch me again as I'm going to charge the other helper So in. kind of you. No, kind. He's definitely going to get in this one. He's in with a 10, I could have done Unless it. I destroy him before he gets there. Well, there is that. Okay, let's find out. Okay, so we need sixes. There are three sixes there, there's no ones for a reroll. That's a shame. Okay, so now we need fives. And we get two fives. Oh my god. Minus three again. Yep, six plus save. No, okay. Six together, does that count? Not quite. Not quite? Not right? quite. Okay, Okay, so D3 damage each. And one is not in the pot, and it was a one anyway, but there's another one. Three ones! One. Well, two more ones is a Yahtzee. <laughs> okay, so two command points to full tilt this guy so he can advance and assault. Yep. yep. So he's, he's charge range now. You get to Overwatch. Get right? Overwatch. You do get to Overwatch, yep. come on. Okay, so six D3 shots. Okay, so we've got 12 shots, needing sixes. So we've got no Necron symbols, is that how it works? We've got three Necron symbols. Oh. Necrons! Hey, come on, play reroll one. No. No, <laughs> is that not how it works either? Okay, so we are at strength eight, toughness eight. Yep. We need fours. We get three. Oh. That is at minus three AP. Well, I go straight to my four plus invan, because I think rotate iron shields, uh, Vulnerable save until oh, until the end of the phase. Well, we're on a different phase. We are we? on a different phase. It's only a so, five plus. Yeah. Or oh. oh, get through. So d6 damage each. Oh my word. Six. Oh my goodness. Sixteen damage. Sixteen damage. How many wounds have you got? Uh, oh, you're still there. Seventeen. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that one, one wing. Oh uh, yeah. That's bad. What was that, Nick? That's bad, is what that is. I'm sure I need to re reword this until the end of the next player's turn. <laughs> is that not how this works? Uh, no. Armature War Gave first, eh? Yep. On he has four destroyers. Hitting on threes. Because I'm not using any any uh, stompy feet, which you get with sweep attacks. So he's hitting on a three plus, so all four of hits. Yep. Strength is times two. Times two, that's strength 12. Okay, we'll be winding on twos then. Winding on twos. They've yep. all wounded. Okay. AP minus three. Minus three, so we're going to get a six plus save. Got one Necron symbol, so that's three goes through. Three goes through, they are a flat three damage each. Okay, three destroyers dead. Okay, so Nick has attacked with the armager first. This guy on one wound will be next. However, I'm going to use two command points and interrupt. So, Nick, how do you feel about that? Uh, I made a wrong choice, <laughs> is what I think about that. Okay, so let's see if we get the command point back, because it's another turn, mm -hmm. so we have a chance of getting it back on a five. We do. You do? Yes. Very good. Okay, so we get the command point back. And we get to attack. Okay, so I'm going to attack with Impaler Strike. So we get six attacks. We need threes. 
strength 16, so we need twos. That's three through at minus four AP. Yeah, I don't think I even get a save against that unless my invulnerable save against ranged weapons only. So he is going to die horribly. Okay, yeah, that is a fixed six damage. Yeah, I've 18. Only got one wound. I'm not, 18 wait, wounds. Rather incorrect choice of unit to go first. <laughs> Does uh, he does explode? It explode? It's not in the pot. No, it doesn't. Doesn't explode. Okay. So, that's it, isn't it? Oh, my destroyers have to assault back, actually. Yep, I get to fight Okay, back. three destroyers. Yeah. That won't take long. And I get two attacks each now. How about that? What? So we need threes. All in. And fives. Oh! <laughs> and I thought my invulnerable saves were good. <laughs> okay, so... Five saves. Uh, at minus what, sorry? Just normal saves. No, nothing. Uh, yeah, you go. All saved? Yep. Three plus save. Okay, well, it's a valiant, a valiant attempt. Okay, so we're going to move in now to Necron's turn mm, two. Turn two. Turn two. Yeah. I'm kind of... Okay, so okay. living metal on that one and the Shraptic, bringing one wound back. And then we've got to do some destroyers. So we've got three destroyers from each unit. So the first unit with a four plus because of the cryptic gets one up, and the second unit on the five plus, none up. Okay, one destroyer, back. Okay, so Necron turn two. Started off shooting the Triarch Stalker into this big guy here. I did manage to do two wounds with that. And then I shot the two destroyer units into one armager, managed to take it down. The Doomsday Arcs shot into the other one, I managed to kill that. Just leaving the Sraptic to shoot, who shot into this guy here, and I did. Uh, only a couple of damage, I made some, I rotated yeah. iron shields again for that guy, and made about three out of four invulnerable saves needed, so you've done, in total, you've done five damage across the destroyers and the Sraptic. Yeah, so five damage, so I wounded him slightly, However, just two knights left. Two knights left. As we move in to turn three for the knights. Okay, so we're in turn three for the knights. Their mission, their only mission, is to kill to the Seraptic. Understandably, too. So. Understandably, he's, got, he's on sixteen wounds. Yeah. Uh, I can't kill a third of your army because they're up on the on the building. So all we're going to do is try and kill him and claim a moral more high ground victory. Okay, let's see what happens. So we're going to fire everything I can possibly think of, which isn't a lot. So we'll start with this guy here then. He will fire his thermal cannon and his melter gun into the Seraptic. Right here, yeah. Yep. So the melter gun on its own hits and does wound at AP minus four. Okay, so five plus and vulnerable save. Let's see if I can actually make one. I do! Oh, of course you do. I do. The uh, thermal cannon has D6 shots, oh, and it's a two. Every single time <laughs> it's a two. Two shots or three damage. That's, that's how it goes. Two shots, and they both miss. Miss. Oh. oh, dear, oh, dear. Do you know what? I've only got one command point left, and I don't foresee me surviving another <laughs> turn. I'm going to command point one of them. Okay. So it yes. does win. It does win. Again, at AP minus four, so you're on your invulnerable. No. So oh wait, that might command point that, just for the fun of it. You, you just for the lols? Yeah, let's do it. Command point, let's see if I get the command point back. I do. Right. Let's see if I get my 5 plus and vulnerable save. I do! I'm not coming down here. <laughs> Me and you are not friends. <laughs> Can I resign as an outfit the unification group? Can I resign? <laughs> okay, so now the next one. Yeah, what are you doing to me with these 5 up in vulnerable <laughs> saves? I'm out of command points. Oh, I've got one, one command point left. Okay, one command point. Wait there, didn't you just say that was your last one? Oh no, I used it. Yeah, you're right. I did use it on that yeah, reroll, yeah. yeah. So that's it. Okay. So the melter gun, the nickel melter gun, misses. Misses. And then D6 shots from the thermal cannon. Six. And finally. Oh. Oh. I've rolled two to every oh, single one of these so far. Six oh, shots. the strap tick. He's quivering. He is quivering. And rightly so. Come on. <laughs> Five ones. You ready for this? We're Six ready. Ones. Two oh, ones. No. Four hits. Force wound. <coughs> That's three to wound. Strength nine. Strength nine. Okay, threes to wound. Two. Two wounds. Yeah. Invulnerable saves. Okay, five pluses. No, both go through. Uh, each one of these on half range, so it's two d six. Pick the highest for each. Okay. So the first one 
does four damage. Four damage. Second one does six, ten wounds. Ten wounds, okay, so six wounds left. Six wounds left, so we're going to charge. Okay, charging in. Uh, I'm going to charge, well, this guy's going to charge because the uh, scarabs are in the way of the other one, so. Okay, I wonder, gonna... who put them there? I wonder who put them there. Yeah, it's almost like you played tactics <laughs> or something. Okay, so we're going to overwatch. What happened last time I overwatched? Yeah, it didn't end well for the knights, did it? Okay. You did like 17 wounds or something on Overwatch. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so 6, D6. D3 of course, not D6. So we've got 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's been almost 11, 11 every time. 11s and 12s, I think you've had all yep, the time. 6. Yeah. Okay, so we're looking for Necron symbols. 6s. We have oh. 3. Oh. Okay. Okay, so now we need 4s to wound. We get one wound through. At least he's gonna live. Uh, Invulnerable save. Nope. Oh, hang on. I've been doing this wrong, haven't I? I've actually been doing it wrong all game because sixes also cause a mortal wound. They do. From that gun, is it? Isn't yeah, it? generators. If you have a six to wound for that weapon, it does a mortal wound. So should we take a mortal? Mortal as well, yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, there you go. I've been doing myself out of dice. I don't think you've been doing it. <laughs> the amount of damage, every, every D6 damage has been a minimum of what, five? Yeah. <coughs> Whereas all mine have been two. <coughs> yes, so charge then, see how okay. far he gets in. He, he makes it into combat. Just. Finally. He's in. It's the third attempt of a knight to get into combat and actually get a chance to have a fight. Let's put him on there so he bounces a bit. Uh, and this fella, he's going to charge, and he is going to charge. Uh, what am I going to charge? Uh, we'll charge. We'll have a go at the destroyers. Uh, do I want to go at the destroyers and get overwatched to death? Go on, you know. Go on, we'll charge the destroyers. The destroyers. Yes, go on. Okay, right, Overwatch. Yep. Okay, so we've got four destroyers, looking for sixes and re-rolling the ones. Okay, roll the ones. No more sixes, but that's three sixes. Okay, so strength six, so we need fives. You get one six there, so that is a wound at minus three AP. I get five plus in line of save, which misses the pot, even though it would have been a good roll. But it still makes go. it again. Yeah. Okay. So his charge distance is five. That might be short, you know. Uh, five will get me within an inch. Okay, he's in. So he is just in. There we go, look at this. this. This could be a different battlefield in a minute. No, it won't be, let's be honest. Because all I'm going to do is just get Doomsday and <laughs> fuck up the board. Let's be honest. Right, let's, um, let's start with the lesser important one, shall we? Okay, so the destroyers. The destroyers. So, right, errant four attacks. So I'm going to go with the Reaper Chainsword. So, Reaper Chainsword, four attacks. Heading on threes. I hit three times. I'm strength a million with the Reaper Chainsaw. So I'm going to be wounding on twos. Okay. I have three that go through at AP minus three. Minus three, so I've got six plus save them. Mm hmm. Now, Quantum Balls, we got one. You got one. And it is a flat six damage each. Okay, flat six damage each, so it's two dead. Two dead. Okay. So the important one then. I've got hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, go on, you get to what? You get to what? How many command points have I got left? Oh, you're going to get interrupt, aren't we? Yeah. I've got two left! Oh. <laughs> I, was trying to be, I was trying to be dramatic and do the less important one first, and you're going to spoil it. I'm trying to build some tension, and you're going to go and ruin it. Okay, let's see if I can get a command point back. No. Oh. I'm, trying, I'm trying to be dramatic, and you're trying to play the game. Of course I am. Oh, it's for Necrons. Yeah, yeah. Necrons need to beat Imperial Knight somehow. Anyhow. I was trying to be dramatic. Okay, let's see what we can do in the assault. Okay, so six wounds left means I need fives to hit. So, let's do this. We're using the big weapon, big claws. And we get two through. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to survive, bare minimum. Yeah, let's see. Okay, so we need twos. twos. Both get through, and the six is. An automatic it isn't, not with this not, one. Not with that one. Not, not with, with that one. The of the shooting. Yeah. 
So two wounds? Two wounds, I have no save against that because uh, iron shields are only against ranged weapons. Okay, minus four, so no save at all, no? No. Okay, so we do three, <laughs> four, five, five damage. Not too bad. No, no, wait there, no, no. Strength, uh, sorry, it's a fixed six damage. Fixed six damage? Yeah. So I lose 12. 12 wounds. 12 wounds. Five left. Five left. Okay. But remember, all I want to do is kill him, and then we're done. Then we're done. Then we're done. Uh, yes. Five wounds left. I'm on my bottom profile as well now. So I want fives to hit you. I get one. Strength 14. Toughness eight. Toughness eight. So threes. It does wound. Yes. Five plus invulnerable save. Uh, do you get that from everything? I yeah. I believe so. Let me just double check. This model has a five plus invulnerable save. There we go. Yeah, yes. Like for range. Okay, here we go then. Come on. Lucky five. Six. Oh, I give up. <laughs> I give up. Oh. Not done. As we move in to Necrons, turn three. Okay, so Necrons turn three. First of all, let's get some wounds back. I've moved the Cryptic in the previous turn within range of the Seraptic. So it's D3 Living Metal. Still only one. Okay, so we get one wound back on here. And that's it. Right, let's do some movement. Oh no, we've got some Destroyers to get back up. So we've got three Destroyers over this side of the table needing fives. Two is back up. And then we've got two dead from the other side of the table, needing fours. Both are back up. Yeah. Okay, so Necron turn three. And at the beginning of this clip, I forgot to turn my microphone on. Basically, I fell back with both the Seraptic and the Scarab Swarms. I then shot into the two knights. I managed to get the knight that was in close combat with the Sraptic down to four wounds and then I managed to destroy the other knight completely. I then elected to charge the other knight and Nick proceeded to do overwatch and that's where we're going to join it now with the live action. I get one. Right, one overwatch shot. And it fell. How's to wound? Salt range. Uh, melty gun, melty gun. Melty gun. That oh! As well, though. Ouch! And. Ouch! Uh, five up in one. Five up in one. I need this. I need this. Oh, it's out of the pot. Come on! No. 2d6 pick the highest. Oh, it's two, damage. two damage. Okay, it's so. Rubbish. Assault range. We are definitely oh, in. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I'm down to five wounds, so I will need fives. So we can get one five. And then we need fives again to no fours. No, you need fours. To wound. Oh yeah, strength sixteen strength on this 16. one. Okay, so we definitely wound. I've got no save against it. No save, so it's a flat. Six, Six damage. damage. And you've got four wounds. Now the question is, if it explodes and causes yeah. uh, enough water wounds, you could kill it in his. You're still going to take him around victory, aren't you? If that happens, it doesn't explode. It doesn't yeah, happen. <laughs> and that's it. Well and truly, the Imperial Knights are dead. What have I lost, Nick? What have I lost? Uh, did you lose anything? I lost four destroyers and which four scarabs. Which the destroyers will come back on the next turn. Okay, so there you go. That was the game. Nick, what an awesome game. I really enjoyed that. Well, that, that makes 50% of the two of us here that enjoyed that. Um, I think the 50% is on my right-hand side. Yeah, it's slightly one-sided, wasn't it? Um, what did we get to? Three turns? Uh, I think so, yeah. Three turns. Three turns, um, yeah. There were some deliberate things that I did to make it a bit more fun and you said, yeah, I'm not having any fun, I'm just going to kill you. And I, that's I, exactly what I you did. I did it for all you Necron players that watch. NECRONS! Yeah, I did it for you Necron players as well. <laughs> uh, honest. Yeah, I, just, I, I, wanted, I wanted to give you a good video for the end of the year. Exactly. So that's that you could got. come along and say I've beaten a tough knight army. And just to you know, make make your highlights real. You know, big big highlights real of the year. That was a that's big exactly highlight. what I did. I didn't that lose. Was a big highlight. I that really before. enjoyed that, Nick. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. What I what I really really didn't enjoy 
was the fact yeah. I couldn't roll more than a three or a two for damage at your any point rolling, ever. Your rolling was bad. Uh, yeah. You rolled pretty much every invulnerable save you ever needed. Yeah. I had a couple of good ones actually, yeah. but not enough. No. And every damage roll, every D6 variable of yours was always at least a four. Yeah, it's pretty good rolling. Yeah, so even in your Overwatch, three sixes on Overwatch, yeah. 17, 16 damage every time. Yeah, I was kind of kind of struggling. But case wrong. Yeah, it's all uh, it's all good fun. Yeah, I'm sure you had fun, didn't you? I, I've, I always have fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what do you think of the Sraptic model? Because that's the first time I've seen it in the flesh. First time I've seen it, larger than I thought. I think yeah. it comes across smaller on on TV. You know, I thought the TV's supposed to add five pounds. <laughs> um, not not take it away, but no, a lot bigger than I thought. Yeah. Um, scary, and we've we've discussed about the basing for it, haven't we, before? Yes. So yeah. It was highlighted it, in that game that. Um, I think really do need a base for it because it's just confusing, isn't it? Yeah. I and mean, I got confused when I was deploying it. Yeah. Um, so definitely, I'm going to do a base for it at some yeah. point. I, I think for Forge World stuff, it tends to spend more time on a shelf than it does in a game. Yeah. Uh, more, ch you know, because a lot of competition. I don't know, I'm, think, I'm going to use it every game. Well, you're going to use it every game. Right? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not sure you might have any more people come around and play you anymore. Probably not. Um, but for me, Forge World tends to spend more time on a shelf than it does on a board. A lot of events yeah. ban them and. Uh, some people just don't like playing against them, mm. the pay to win, blah blah blah. Yeah. Which is why, you know, I don't mind playing them because I I can give as equal as, as anyone else can get with Forge World. Yeah. So I don't mind it. Um but yeah, definitely for me Forge World looks better on a base. Mm. So uh yeah, we'll we'll yeah. see what you come up with. I'm sure uh, yeah. something good will come up. Yeah, well I might even just use that piece of terrain that I had on the showcase video. Uh huh. It did actually look pretty cool. Yeah, so definitely. We'll see. Okay, well there you go. Last video of the year. So I think there's only one thing left to say to my subscribers, apart from Knights. No, is that not it? No, it's not it. Oh, Necrons! Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. Oh, beam me beam up. Me up. <laughs> Let's do that bit again. Okay. No, I think we'll just leave it like it is. We can do. Yeah, I think it'd be right. Sure? <clears throat> yeah, make a fun end, why not? I could energise instead of could beating me up. Right, well, just, just do it, and I can add it if it's any good. <laughs> right, ready? We could energise. Yeah. Energise? So no, that's not my, trick, not my trick. I know, though, but end of year. New year. New year special, energise. Yeah. Okay. It's more modern, isn't it? More cutting edge. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do it then. Okay. Let's start with the deer together. <laughs> Energize. Ener That's rubbish. Oh, rubbish, yeah, it is rubbish, yeah. Okay. <coughs> what is this? I go one, two, three, then I stop yeah. talking, and then on the next beat, yeah. go up. One, two, three, and go. Yeah. This is like this is like Mel Gibson's cutting yeah. the wires, isn't it? Do you yeah. go on three or after three? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. One, two, three. Beam me up. Energize. <laughs> <laughs> you said you said energize was rubbish. Okay, we'll do energize. Come on. One, two, three and energize. <laughs> This is going to be mainly outtakes, this video. Well, there's nothing wrong with that, is there? I think people like the outtakes. And these, yeah, okay. okay right. What are we doing, Energize? Yeah, one, okay. two, three, yes. Yep. One, two, three. Energize. Energize. Now you've got to tap it, wait for the beep, and then you say Is there it. a beep? Yeah, of course there is. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> one, two, three. No. One, two, three. Energize. Okay. Right, now I've realised I've totally cocked up. Why? Because we didn't start the video saying Happy New Year, this is a New Year special and all the rest of it. Oh, we can... So I'll do that yeah. now. <coughs> all right. I think I might do the beginning bit again. Yeah. Nick speaking, and welcome to this video. Uh, no. Nick speaking and welcome to this video and this is our New Year's special battle report. And I'll just say Necrons mm -hmm. versus, yeah. Yeah, you can cut that in. <coughs> ah, right there, I'm going to say just do the subscribe. Okay, right. We'll do the other bit afterwards. What's the, what other bit? The bit that goes after about subscribing. Okay. Okay, so today I'm here with Nick from Old Average Brit Gaming and we're going to have a special battle report, especially for you on New Year's Eve, to wish you a happy 
2019. Mm -hmm. So Nick, welcome to the channel. Thank you very much, nice to be here. You are welcome. That's rubbish. I'll just cut, when I go Nick round to the channel, then I'll cut the other video. Okay. Cool. The power of editing. Yeah. Remote control, work. Throw face. Yeah. Good to go. Necrons. Do it. Today I'm here with Old Average Brit Gaming and we are going to play a game of Warhammer 40k Necrons versus Imperial Knights. Not only that, we're playing the Seraptic Super Heavy Construct. It's coming right up. Go try that game because it was rubbish. <coughs> <coughs> I quite like it. Today I'm here with Nick from Old Average Brit Gaming and we are going to play a game of Warhammer 40k, the Necron Seraptic Heavy Construct versus Imperial Knights and a few other Necrons. That's rubbish! Why is that rubbish? It just sounds rubbish. Why? Because I, I shouldn't do that for Warhammer 40k. Start again. I've got to get right to the point. Okay. Okay, we we're, we're, not, we're not playing <coughs> Age of Sigma. No, definitely not. Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Third time lucky. Take three. Action. Today, I'm here with Old Average Brit Gaming, who keeps laughing. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with the other ones. <laughs> You're such a perfectionist. I am. Come on up, straight face now. Game, okay. game, game face, okay. right? Okay. <laughs> oh, God. I've got my game face on there. Oh, yeah, okay. We did my one of these in one take. Oh no. Such an amateur. Come on. <sighs> well, at least there's no trucks out there. Hang on, what's that? What's up, mate? You never seen a big mate reversing before? That's the bin man again. Oh. You got a problem, pal? Keep your big nose out. Hey, I live next to an airport, come on. Today, I'm here with Nick from Old Average Bit Gaming, and we're going to play a game of Necrons versus. Someone. Imperial Knights. Imperial Knights. That's them. <laughs> Wasn't that long ago, you know? No, no. Yeah. <laughs> this is only you, Trey. I know, we have Yeah. Let's, <clears throat> come on. Today, I'm here with Old Average Brit Gaming, and we're going to play. Um, Today I'm here with Nick from Old Average Brit Gaming. We're going to play a game of Necrons versus Imperial Knights. And today I'm going to play the Necron Super Heavy Construct. It's coming right up. Perfect. Are you happy this time? That's perfect. Okay. <coughs> That's the one. I had one to hit against before I always track one to hit against. Yeah, that was banging around. Yeah, it's going to be a massive knocking noise in the video, you bet. Oh, 